Yeah, this guy smurf account. You guys smurfing in here. How can you tell? Because they keep saying Alex Disc. Isn't that a Sonic player? Ah, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Snake. Snake Zelda. Uh, I don't like this matchup as Snake. I don't think Snake loses, but... Because she not. can throw out just as many projectiles, or...? Yeah. It's not fun trying to play... the, like, projectile game as Snake. Yeah, like I think what um, Alan just should do is like put, get the projectiles out, but only as a way to like uh, limit Zelda's approaches and then get in from there. Don't like stay too far away for like a long period of time, in my opinion. Right now though, looking pretty good for him. Oh. Yeah, having the knight actually set off your explosions could be pretty handy too. Especially if just the ice is going to be approaching with the knight. Okay, there's that up B. Infamous Ferrora's win from ice. Dang, big up B. Yeah, they even killed Snake at that percent. He like only lives forever. Wow, the sword clipped through the stage and knocked Alondis uh, away from oh my. setting up. 78 dan- what? Snake died at 78? Are you serious? Damn. Great. Take chase? Yeah, everyone rolls away from the grenade in that situation. So you're saying the smarter move is to roll two grenade? Yeah, or get up attack. Get up attack. Or delay. If you're not at uh, the percent where you'll get up to it or up to it, just don't do anything. Oh my god. The dash attacks are coming in. Alright, so now the like rogue of bees are working because. Oh, did you get the stick? Oh. Yes, he did, but still low enough so that ice would in fact lose the stock. Oh, good. No roll. Oh. He just got up to it anyway. <laughs> but, uh, so the roll of these are actually working because he's doing them at the... Oh my god, he caught that too. Damn. Wow, just the ice with a very convincing win for game one. Yeah. That was, that was strong. But, uh, yeah, all these are working because he's catching Alan when he's in his grenade pull animation. So before like he can throw a grenade or like as he throws it, he's getting hit by up B. What's the, the pick here? Oh, I'm just gonna run it back. Okay. That's right, run it right back. Are we gonna see a more evasive Alondis, or what is the adjustment gonna be from here? I'm trying to see the F smash, I'm trying to two frame. Nah, yeah, he's just getting right in his face this game. Yo, just doubling down with the explosions. Look at that. Oh, oh. okay. Oh, wow. who goes for that? Dang, that was crazy. That I was actually know. the best thing he could have gone for. 
Also, like uh, he's using the Nehru's too to reflect the grenades. But uh, pretty bad up there there. That was a really easy uh, up tilt there for Alan just. Interesting that we see Ice like charging up the night when Alondis is essentially out of range from it. Yeah, I think he just also he wants the night out just to mess with the grenade spacing as well. Ooh. Oh, great spike, but so unfortunate. Not, not gonna be able to make uh, it back. No, no losing that stock is huge. Yeah, he died way too early there. This uh, that actually works out for Alan since he was losing by so much. Okay, trade. It's hard to say like who trade where these trades are going in terms of whose favor. Wow, the spacing landing right in front of Alondis with the Frora's win, and then using yeah. Naru's love. Okay, great backup. Make sure that those forward airs don't connect. Even percents for these two. Oh, get oh, stuck. That was clean. I don't even think you can do anything once you get thrown there. I think you're still in hit stun from the throw. Yeah. So you don't have time to buffer air dodge. It's lights out. That's what it is. Damn. Who goes for C4 stick in that situation, though? Crazy. Seeing some rogue options coming from both players, and it's working out. Dang, that down air, like stock trade, was not worth. He actually lost because of that. Yeah, let's see if uh, Ice is gonna continue to go for those really aggressive offstage moves. And we're going to see all PS2 set. For sure. Oh my goodness, he's already at 60% just from grenades alone. Yeah, but we've seen how early... Uh, oh, again. Yeah, wow. run up the shields getting, getting punished by Sticky. It's not even just sticky, it's like sticky grab back throw. Yeah, really nice. Oh Bait. man, Ice kind of going a little bit too crazy with these uh, of these here. Oh, there Bait. it is. Yep, closing the stock, not getting stuck underneath Pokemon Stadium. Position that Ice doesn't want to be in. Oh, nice! I like the forward, uh, forward air choice from the down, down throw there, from uh, Allen. Yeah, I think Allen, uh, yeah, Allen was looking for another run-up shield. Oh, great mix-up! He got baited so hard with the dash dance there. I'm getting a lot of ideas on what to do for Snake. He does a lot of interesting tricks. He's good. Oh, went too high with that up B, went to free fall there. Could have gotten a harder punch on his uh, up B. Ooh. Nice. Positioning the grenade to make it so he can get back to the same stage safely. Doing a B. Ooh. To mix up his landing, but still getting caught, evening up the stocks. Lonis for the 71% lead. Yeah, that was kind of okay that he traded the stock there since he uh, took some percent as well. Oh, wait, hold up though. Ice in an opportunity here. I was gonna air dodge to the ledge, but he gets caught by the knight again. I was gonna land here. Oh, he's not land he's on the ledge. Throwing out a dash attack could be a safe option and exploding oh. the Nikita at the ledge. Yeah, that was smart. He caught him committing to the Din Spire. He's completely vulnerable there to the Nikita.
So Alanis will go up 2-1, which was looking like, you know, Alanis was going to be having a little difficult, a lot of trouble in this set. But ever since that, that stock training game too, it's been Alanis' game. Mm. Yeah, I definitely agree. But uh, I don't know, I think Ice is also playing the matchup pretty well. You just see doing a few like tiny mistakes that are getting punished real yard. But I think a lot of that comes from him also. He's uh, playing a lot more aggressive than he has been playing before in this match. I just think he just doesn't want to give Snake a chance to get started like pulling out his grenades. So he's just trying to get in his face as much as possible. Oh my gosh. Wow. Right in the face. Retreating to the left side of the stage. On is setting up his traps. Starting to see that evasive play come out again. Yeah, again, he's fine with uh, hitting that trade with the up B. Because. He knows that he can get a free hit once he's pulling the grenades. Oh, nice tech chase from the neighbors. Uh, I don't like that at all. Not, not worth it. Mm -hmm. it. It's never worth to throw away a stock versus snake because he do he can uh rack up percent so easily. And he lives like a very long time for for usually uh for the most part anyway. And charging up the knight, having a deal with the with the grenades, but the grenade interrupting the knight. A lot is trying to make up some of that percent deficit with some some uh, far away aggression. Okay, for the back throw, watch the Nikita though. He didn't get the hit, but he gets the life safely. Oh, oh, oh the, the second the attack, hit. second attack whiffed. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It's unfortunate. But uh, at that point, Alan just should have just gone for the up tilt. Probably would have killed him at percent with all the rage he has. But oh, he blew up. I don't, I don't know how he blew up there, but take it. And uh, yeah, Alan just and looking to wrap this last stock. Move on to the losers finals. Which is rough because I feel like Ice had such a huge lead, but oh, he had he had a lead. He had momentum. Oh my god, he just went past every explosion to get that sweet spot in there. Hey, 60% not too too bad, but yeah, he has to approach Snake now and he's starting to jump into some really bad spots. Alan is just getting all the free hits right here. Yeah, I'm still able to escape through all those explosions. Tacking on some damage with the dash attack up tilt. Nair going to whiff. Oh. Another one? Yeah, everyone rolls away from the grenade. And Alan just knew immediately he was already buffering the dash up till like as soon as he got the down from it. Great stuff from Alan. Continuing super long loser's run. And uh, really good adjustments overall too, because it looked like Ice had a really strong advantage.